all right. One more little one. This is for somebody specific. Oh, I don't know if it's somebody specific, but this is really for somebody specific. And it could be for everybody at the same time. I mean, everybody can take this into consideration, okay? So I want to use an example right quick, right? Those of us, 555 on, my t on, the, on the stove. Those of us that have chosen ones, right? That, who, that have been through like all walks of life, okay? Um... And most of those walks of life, people never saw, right? Um, a lot of people think that you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth or something, and, and that's not the case, right? Uh, you just you just know how to get it out the mud, right? Without complaining to nobody, without being a beggar, or I'm not saying like asking for help, but you're not being a beggar. You know, you've never been one to whine about your situation. You know what I'm saying? So those of us who have been down every lane of life, every walk of life, right? We know what it feels like to lack something that we otherwise probably took for granted. You know what I'm saying? One, two, three, no timer. I was, I was, the Holy Spirit said this to me a couple days ago. I'm just now telling you guys, but the Holy, because the Holy Spirit brought it back up to me. Somebody needs to hear it. Um, Holy Spirit... <laughs> reminded me of something that I had said to him, right? And it was about a little bar of soap that I had in the bathroom, right? Um, because at one point I had ran out of, uh, you know, money before I got more funds and stuff or whatever. And I had this little piece of soap, right? And I was... Confirmation, okay? Hold on, wait till it stops. <laughs> I ain't embarrassed to tell this. See, this is the thing. People be embarrassed to them. For what? For what? Okay? Hustler, that's a hustler, okay, survivor. And that's actually something valuable to put in your tool belt. People don't know this, but anyway, I digress. This little piece of, this little piece of a bar of soap, okay? Y'all be amazed at how far I stretched that out, right? With using it completely at the same time, okay? I've been through some things, I know how to, I know how to, Preserve to the from a timer. And so I had got, you know, more money and I bought more bars of soap and all that stuff. And after that, Holy Spirit said to me, um, what did he, what did you say, Holy Spirit? Ask me, do I, do I remember like the way that I, when I get low on stuff, right? Or even run out of stuff, okay? I'm trying to think of a way to say this so you guys will understand it. When I am low on things and I need replenishing, right? Of course, God will always replenish me, right? But there are tests in between there, right? There are things that you're supposed to get that you're supposed to understand, okay? Um, not just overlook, okay? And I kind of basically got a congratulations, right? You, you did what you were supposed to do because... I know what it feels like to not have a place to stay, right? To not be able to take a shower or a bath at your own will when you want to, right? Because you don't have your own place to stay, right? Um, feeling embarrassed because of all of those things I just said, right? I remember those times and I remember what it felt like when basically I had nothing, right? And I remember how I utilized the little that I did have. Right? I'm saying all that to say one of the best thank you, Holy Spirit. One of the best gifts, okay, amongst all the gifts that are amazing that God gives us, that people take for granted every day, is the ability to be able to choose. Right? We take things for we take things for granted every single day because these things are normal to us, right? They're they're not a want or um you know, a, a necessity or whatever, right? But when you don't have these things, 
those are those are exactly the things that are on your mind exactly the things that you're panicking about right but when you had it you really didn't you know you really didn't care or not saying you did it but you know example for somebody you really didn't care or you were wasteful right and people overlook that they don't even recognize that the things that are in their possession right what God has given them is so valuable and they have no idea that they even have value in their hands I hope I'm not confusing you guys okay Holy Spirit let's use another example being able to see with both of your eyes okay what if one day you went blind and you were no longer able to see for the rest of your life how much you would oh how much you would wish and miss the ability to see right you would think back to all the times where you might have you know did something foolishly to mess up your eyesight or something dangerous or you know your mind goes back to all of those times when you did have eyesight you know what i'm saying but now that you don't it's like you're reminiscing on what you should have appreciated what you should have taken uh better care of you know what i'm saying And one of the best gifts that God gives us is free will, right? Having to choose, okay? And I looked at this bracelet and I, light bulb, and I was like, ding. Beloved, you don't have to feel the way that the world wants you to feel. You don't have to. This bracelet says, choose your attitude. Choose. Choose your attitude. You don't have to be mad. You don't have to be sad. You do not have to be stressed out. You do not have to be. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't have to be angry or be, uh, be stressed out about things that the world tells you you should be stressed out about, okay? It's your choice whether you're gonna be mad, sad, Okay, uh, whether you're going to stay in depression, whether you're going to, uh, you know, <laughs> gird, gird up your loins, however you say it, and, and, and put one foot in front of the other, right? I mean, that's what a person does. Say a person's sitting in depression, right? Eventually, eventually, more times than not, they come out of that depression. But why? You get to a point where you're tired of it. You're sick of it. You know what I'm saying? That's how old, that's how habits die, right? You have to be completely and utterly basically disgusted of that habit for you to put it down or for you to be ready to let it go. You know what I'm saying? Like cigarettes. When I smoke cigarettes, I wanted to quit, right? But I wasn't done yet. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't done. I got to a point where I think I woke up one morning and I was just, I smoked the cereal, I was just like, ugh. I think I almost threw up and I was just like, why? Like, why? And I quit. <laughs> Not to say it wasn't hard, it was hard, but me having the, the, the actual desire to want to put it down, right? That helped in aiding, disconnecting from it. Okay? It helped in aiding me from disconnecting from that addiction. Okay? So, you have a choice, beloved. Choose your attitude. All right? All right. Love y'all. Later. Peace. I feel I ain't come back up here no more today. Unless the Holy Spirit make me, but. <laughs> I'll holla. Peace.